welcome to another exciting episode of Ohio Eats. Today we are talking about Empress Thai 2 Ethiopian restaurant in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. um, when we started the series, this is definitely one we said we wanted to uh, go to because yeah. it's a very unique experience. Um, a long experience. <laughs> uh, we were there for a little over two and a half hours. If you've never had Ethiopian food or like an African style food, it's there's not much else like it. Because I know this was Kim's first time. I had been there one time about two years ago. Um, you don't really have silverware. <laughs> you have like like little spoons for certain things. If it's like a sauce yeah. to get out, use injera. I think is how you pronounce it. Um, the best way to describe it is like a flavorless pancake. <laughs> Food napkin. A food napkin. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll kind of start, I guess, from the beginning of our experience. Um, for an appetizer, we got the sambusa. We got the uh, the beef one. You can get lentils or beef inside. They were really good. It was almost like a like a fried wonton wrapper yes. stuffed with meat. Remind me a lot of the texture of an egg roll. Yeah, and then they gave us this like spicy salsa -y yeah. kind of Literally just describes thing. it as spicy dipping sauce. Yeah. Um, they were really good. They were really good. They weren't real big. They were nice. Mm -hmm. They were, I kind of wish I actually had more. Although, if we got enough food uh, oh my gosh. for our family for dinner. Um, <laughs> and she had a, what was the wine you had? It was a honey wine. Yeah. Um, it's like their special wine that they have. Um, all the flavors. It was really, really mm -hmm. good. It was a, it was a white wine. It was a little bit sweet. It, you could taste the honey. You could taste like different like aromas in it. A little bit of spice and stuff like that. I noticed apple. Yeah. For sure, it tasted like apples to me. Um, that was good. I got a spiced iced tea. That was good. It was basically like an iced chai tea. A little different, but it, it was very um, reminiscent of that. Um, also, when you go, you get the choice if you want to sit like at a normal table or you can set it um these little chairs with a little table. I forget the name of it, but they're like, like kind of like little hut seating. Yeah. Um, now, we sat inside the hut, but it was a table inside this like hut thing with like these these chairs like like really down low to the ground. And there's like a little round table with the kind of put food in. Um, what did I? I had the meat and veggie combo. And I got this because it was kind of a combination of a lot of things that they had there. Oh wow, this is going to be fun for me to try and pronounce. It was Dorawat, and that was like chicken. It wasn't like chicken, it was chicken. Um, and like some spices and that. And then there's Sega tips. Sega? I, I, it's, Sega it's on my screen right now, right off their menu. Um, Sega tips, which is beef tips, basically. Um, and then there's three different vegetables. Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I have no idea. I have no idea. Kik Alacha, Masir, and Tiko Goman. Yeah, sure. Um, so one was like a cabbage and potato, cabbage and potato kind of thing. Um, there is lentils, and then I think the other one might have been chickpeas. Or no, yellow split pea is what it was. It says right here. The Masir is lentils, and the Goman was collards. Yeah, collard greens. Mm -hmm. Car sears, beets, and potatoes. I think that's one we. It says I got that, but I don't remember there being beets in anything. Hm, I don't know. I don't remember beets. Do you remember beets? No. Huh. Ah. What did you get, Kim? I got. Um, oh gosh, I can't. I think it was. I got just the Sega Tibbs meal. Yeah. And so it was the beef cubes. Um, we had peppers and onions, and then it came with. Um, a side as well. Um, I think I got the one that was like the cabbage. Yeah, you got the one that's like and the cabbage. potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then um, it also had like a little salad on there too. Yes, each one came with a little salad. Yeah. Um, which is weird because it says you can add it for three dollars, but it came with it. All right. I guess if you wanted um, a bigger one. Yeah. Can and then you have to use your injera, however you say it pancake things you just kind of you don't have silver you just have to rip it and you just kind of grip it food napkin yep and you, and you just eat it that way um it's so like if, if you do not like touching your food 
this is not an ex this is not something that you probably will be into. I definitely highly recommend giving it a shot. The thing I can compare it most to is kind of like Indian food because it has that spicy, mm -hmm. almost like curryness. It's not really. It's kind of like a curry, like the meat the meat portions were. Yeah. But it has some of the similar spices. But um, the highlight of the meal, and I highly recommend you do this if you go there, is the coffee ceremony. Um, now it takes a while because everything here took kind of a little bit, um, but they actually roast the beans and they actually bring it out to the table as they're roasting them before and to kind of like show you and like let you smell like the fragrantness of it and it, it just smells amazing when they bring it to you. Um, and they're green Ethiopian um, coffee beans and they take it back there and then they fully prepare it and they bring it out in what looks like a, I think it's a clay I think it was pot. a clay pot. Yeah. Really tiny little teacups, um, sugar and cream, and then they also have an uh, incense burner because yes. it helps supposedly like, like kind of like bring out more of the flavors maybe, mm -hmm. kind of open the senses. Um, some of the best coffee you'll ever have. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, super florally, chocolatey. I'm probably not gonna sleep for like days because it was like... There was a, there was a lot. Well, it wasn't even that there's so much, but it, it is really strong. She, yeah. Each person gets about, for two, gets about four of these tiny little cups. Yeah. So it equals about maybe a cup, maybe a little more than a cup of yeah. coffee per person, but it, you don't want more than that. Um, but yeah, the only complaint we really had was, um, uh, this. now, when you go there, you have to understand that it, it does, it is going to take a little bit longer. It's more about the atmosphere and stuff, but there were times, like, where we just weren't waited on at all. Yeah. It took like 15 minutes for to even be asked what we wanted, and then we finished our coffee and sat there for a good, it was almost 20 minutes before I got up and actually just went and paid for it, because I'm like, we, we, we've been here for two and a half hours, <laughs> we, we want to go. Like, it, it's nice to sit there for a while and kind of take in the atmosphere, but at a certain point you're like, come on, like yeah. someone come check on like, me, and like, you know, I saw, go home. <laughs> and I saw other people there where their glasses of water were just completely empty and no one was coming to refill them or anything, and some of the food is kind of spicy, so like, you kind of want that. But besides that, like, our waitress was really nice. She was really nice. It's just I wish that we would have been checked on more. And, like, we also sat with empty plates in front of us for quite a while. Yeah. Like, after we boxed everything up, we sat there with, like, dirty dishes in front of us. Um, but that's that's the one thing. Um, highly recommend going there. Um, absolutely delicious. Let us know if you've been there, what you thought of it. You know, have you ever heard of this place before? Did this actually let you, let you know of it? Um, well, I'll put a link in the description um, for the website as well. Um, but make sure you like this video, subscribe to us if you haven't already, um, this is a new series we're doing, um, so liking it and letting us know that you actually enjoy watching it helps us to uh, know that it's worth continuing to make this content. Yeah. Um, but until next time, see ya. Bye.